this video, we're going to be taking a look at a crucial aspect of your diet that you might be lacking. When it comes to weight loss or muscle growth, the foods that you put in your body will always play a crucial part. Train all you like, but without sorting out your diet, you'll never get that picture-perfect body. So, what is this key food that will force your gains to skyrocket? I'm going to talk about that soon, so in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video. Exercise, particularly resistance training, provides the primary stimulus for muscle growth. When you lift weights or engage in resistance exercises, you create micro-tears in your muscle fibers. This means your body responds to this stress by repairing and rebuilding the muscles, leading to muscle growth. However, it's actually the food you consume that have the deciding say on how you look. We all know that protein is key in muscle building, so consuming enough is vital. And when it comes to protein, there's no better source than chicken breast. Now, I know what you're thinking. Literally everyone knows that when you want to build muscle, you need to consume chicken. And that's true. Most people in my experience believe that in order to look like their favorite celebrity, they need to eat an endless amount of chicken and rice. However, do you actually know why everyone eats it? I mean, there are so many other protein sources out there to choose from. Watch until the end of the video and I'll give you my number one benefit for consuming chicken. Number one, pack to the brim with protein. We've already spoken about how chicken is high in protein, but when it comes to picking a protein source, you want to make sure that you are selecting a good source. Fact, the protein in chicken is considered to be a very high quality protein, meaning that it contains all the essential amino acids that your body cannot produce on their own. It is vital for us to utilize all nine essential amino acids, especially when looking to build muscle due to the role they play in a number of key areas. The role it plays in protein synthesis, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. There are 20 standard amino acids used by cells to build proteins, and these amino acids are linked together in a specific sequence according to the instructions encoded in the cell's DNA. Protein synthesis begins with a process called translation. During translation, messenger RNA carries the genetic information from the DNA in the cell's nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes read the mRNA sequence in groups of three nucleotides called codons. Each codon codes for a specific amino acid or serves as a start or stop signal for protein synthesis. Moreover, before amino acids can be incorporated into a growing protein chain, they must be activated. This process involves attaching an amino acid to a molecule called transfer RNA. Each tRNA molecule is specific to a particular amino acid and has an anticodon that pairs with the corresponding codon on the mRNA. Once activated, the amino acids are brought to the ribosome by tRNA molecules. The ribosome catalyzes the formation of peptide bonds between adjacent amino acids, creating a growing polypeptide chain. After the polypeptide chain is synthesized, it undergoes further processing, including folding into its three-dimensional structure. This structure is crucial for the protein's function. The sequence of amino acids determines how the protein folds and its final shape, which in turn determines its function within the cell or organism. This process allows our muscles to repair and grow. Looking at the protein content in chicken can differ depending on the area you are consuming. When looking at around 100 grams of each, chicken leg contains around 27 grams, chicken thigh contains around 26 grams, and then chicken breast comes in at around 31 grams. If your preferred option is chicken breast, then you'll be happy to hear about. Number two, low in fat. Sometimes you want to include more protein into your diet, but you don't want to add too much more fat or carbohydrates. With many people believing that nuts and peanut butter are these great sources of protein, this is a complete myth. These are both great sources of fat that have a below average amount of protein in compared to its calories. Chicken, however, is a great source of protein whilst containing little fat. When looking at around 100 grams of each, chicken leg contains around 9 grams. Chicken thigh contains around 9 grams as well, whereas chicken breast comes in at around 3 grams. So if you're looking for a low-fat, high-protein food, chicken breast is your safest bet. A low-fat diet can be important for several reasons, although it's crucial to note that the emphasis should be on consuming healthy fats rather than strictly limiting all fats. Eating a low-fat diet can have positive effects on your heart health, weight management, helps reduce the risk of cancer and diabetes, as well as aiding in your digestion. Moreover, it's also important to understand that not all fats are unhealthy, and some fats are essential for optimal health, such as omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Therefore, rather than focusing solely on reducing fat intake, it's essential to prioritize consuming healthy fats in appropriate amounts as part of a balanced diet. Number three, tasty and enjoyable. Yes, I know that this is dependent on who I'm talking to, 
but me like many others find chicken to be very easy to eat. Now unless you're following a vegan or vegetarian diet, you need to be consuming chicken regularly. Thankfully, you don't actually need to eat plain chicken and white rice like you see all these fitness influencers do. Which FYI, they only do when preparing for a bodybuilding show. It's completely fine to season your chicken or have it with another source of carbs or fat. So, yes, if you like your chicken with chips, then do. Prefer it in a sandwich. Have that as well. There are endless ways to eat your chicken to ensure you never get bored. I personally have mine with pasta. Remember, the best diet is the diet that you will stick to. Of course, this doesn't mean you can just go away and eat whatever you like. You just need to find that balance. If you stayed until the end, here's that number one benefit. Number four, convenient and affordable. Thankfully, you can get chicken anywhere, buy it raw from a supermarket or cooked from a store. Even the majority of fast food places have a chicken dish on the menu. Chicken is everywhere. According to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, chicken is the second most widely eaten meat in the world, with 33% of the population eating it daily. Whether you're eating at home or need something on the go, chicken is the best option when it comes to hitting your protein goal. Now, it should go without saying, but eating from fast food chains, whether it's chicken or not, will come with a number of red flags. Food from restaurants or fast food places will be fried in oil and other chemicals, so it's always best to stay away from these spots. Eating there on occasion is fine as there will be times where it's unavoidable. Just make sure this isn't a common staple in your diet. Moreover, when it comes to the cost of chicken compared to the cost of other sources of protein, there's not too much in it. Around 20 grams of protein in chicken costs around $1.50, whereas the same amount of protein in yogurt, tofu, and cottage cheese costs around $1.02, making chicken breasts super affordable. It's important to remember, however, that you shouldn't only eat chicken and that other sources like eggs and yogurt are packed in other nutrients that are vital for your body's health. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more fitness videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Why not check out this video where I talk about why eggs should be included in your diet? Bye for now.